So let me make some room there and bring up my next tray. So we're dealing now with beef, veal, and pork. Three types of meat. A quarter pound of each will do. Get to know your butcher. <clears throat> so we want to start with some, this is just stale bread. So we want to give that a little milk just to moisten that, just to let that get soft and let that bread absorb the liquid. And again, we want to have some parsley. So I'm going to put that in with the milk and the bread. Parsley goes in. We want some salt. And we want some pepper. That goes in. Then I want to grate up some lemon. So here's a lemon. So you zest up a lemon because this gives great flavor to the meatballs, I think. And that looks good. So there's our lemon. So some cheese goes in. And now we can add our meats. So here is the beef, the veal, and the pork. So we get that all in. And now I'm going to mix that again with my hands. And this particular soup is great for people who don't have a lot of time. So once you have it like that, you get out a tray, a baking sheet, and I did some earlier for you, and you start making little meatballs. See, just like this. You take a small clump in your hand, and you just lightly roll. 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. So here are the meatballs that we did earlier. And you can see now why they're called polpettine, because they're, they're tiny and they're, they've been cooking for about 20 minutes or so. Now this is the fast part of this recipe. So in a stock pot, you're going to add the meatballs. You put the meatballs in. You have some broth. Now you can either use beef broth, you can use chicken broth, you could use vegetable broth, whatever you happen to like. And this is about eight cups, and I pour that in right over a spoon so I don't splatter myself. So about eight cups of broth go in. Then we want some vegetables. And folks, this is the easy way out because here we have just frozen vegetables. So you can do frozen mixed vegetables. You don't have to cut up vegetables. If you're really stressed for time, do this because this still makes a delicious hearty soup. I'm gonna put that all in. That was a two pound bag of mixed vegetables, because we're serving a lot of people. If you're gonna make soup, you gotta do it right. And then to give this some added color and also taste, we're gonna add some tomatoes. So diced tomatoes, a 28 ounce can will be just fine. So a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes go in. If you wanna use fresh tomatoes, you can do that. You stir this around and you bring this to a boil. Remember, this isn't gonna take very long at all because the meatballs are all cooked, the vegetables aren't gonna take any time. And now we wanna give this some salt. Doesn't that look good? And some pepper. So there's the salt. Whoops, I went a little, little fast there with the pepper, but that's okay. A little salt, a little pepper. And if you happen to have Parmesan cheese rinds hanging around the house, those would be good in there as well. Then, when you have your soup heat it up, and it's nice and hot, well, then I like to give it something else. And that would be this. These are ditalini, remember that? Those are those little soup noodles that you remember from home. And I simply put them in some water, boiled them up like you would boil any pasta, and here it is, all cooked and ready to go. I boil it separately because I don't want to thicken that soup too much. If I put this in raw, and brought that to a boil in the soup, it would just make a really thick, chunky soup, and I don't want that. So once this is heated, 
I put in the ditalini, just like that. And this is a soup that can, can make everybody happy in the family. And you just mix that around. Doesn't that look good? Look at that. You've got your tiny meatballs, you've got your ditalini, your vegetables. It's a meal in a pot. And if you want to, you can add some cheese to that as well. So here's some parmigiano. And how about some parsley with this as well? And that's all there is to making the soup, the meatball soup.